Well, if your phone is lighting up with strange calls and text messages trying to lure you in with false threats or promises, you're not alone. Police say the scams are at an all-time high this time of year. It is lousy. One Holliston woman tells the I-team that if it could happen to her, it could happen to anyone. Here's WBZ's Christina Hager with the story and a warning. Imagine getting paid to shop. Lisa Zace made extra cash checking up on companies as a mystery shopper years ago. So when she heard from someone saying he was a manager at one of her favorite stores, Whole Foods, you will get $400 in each endeavor. She bit. Weeks later, a package in the mail from a company called Store Survey. And there was a check for $2,450. From California Bear Credit Union. I uh, checked them out online, and it was a real bank. I took out cash which is mistake number one. If she did it fast, the texter wrote she'd get a $150 bonus. First assignment, buy eBay gift cards. Knocked it out, went to two CVSs, a Walgreens. The texter told her to scratch them. They uh, just had me text all these numbers to them. So at what point did the red flags go up? And they said, um, go buy checks from Office Max. She did, then texted back. And I wrote, want to make sure this is legitimate. You can't blame me. I was up all night. I called the bank first thing in the morning and, you know, fraud. Out nearly $2,500. The police report says the balance on each card she purchased had been used. This is what the return address on that fake check looks like in San Francisco. When we called... Hi, this is Christina Hager. I'm a reporter calling with WBZ. Texted and emailed the contact. No response. Gift cards can be great at Christmas, but evil when they're connected to a scam. Consumer advocate Edgar Dworsky does mystery shopping jobs on a regular basis. The biggest red flag, he says. A check in advance is highly, highly unusual. It's just not the way these companies work. They always do business by email, he says. A text like Zay Scott would be highly unusual. A lesson learned, and hopefully by me, you know, talking about this with you today, that it will save someone else. The Massachusetts Attorney General's office says it's had a half dozen secret shopper complaints. And the Federal Trade Commission says in the first nine months of this year, it heard from nearly 19,000 people nationwide who say they were ripped off by scammers offering jobs. For the I-Team, Christina Hager, WBZ News.